Hi guys, so today I'm going to um, try out the Anna Griffin Easel Heart die set. Let me see if she calls it. Valentine Easel die. And um, so today, when I release this, is going to be the final um, craft day for HSN for the year. I think they're going to come back at the very end of January, so Crafts and Companion and Anna Griffin and um, Diamond Press. I know Diamond Press is going to come out with a larger Diamond Press, and I don't know if it's going to be at that time or not, but you guys might know and uh, let us all know here in the comments. But um, Which also reminds me of like Martha Stewart. Does she still make craft stuff? Remember that was a big thing back in the day? We get a lot of things from her and it just kind of died out, it seems like. But anyway, um, I remember seeing her on QVC, I guess, or maybe HSN. I don't remember where she was, but it doesn't matter now. They're owned by the same. QVC owns everything. Um, but I'm going to try this out. And I was looking at it and I was thinking maybe, but you know what? No, maybe not. I was like, say, I don't know that you really need an extended cutting plate for this one, which is good because I know a lot of times we do uh, need a larger one, right, for the different dies. But I'm looking at this. So this is the Gemini plate, as you can see, it barely misses it. So I might still use my Gemini Junior because it's in front of me and it's easy for me to run things through it instead of going and pull out my Empress. But the Empress will do it no problem because the plates for the Empress are larger than the Gemini Junior to begin with. So this one just needs like another inch and I would have been good, but... Um, so I'm still going to use my Gemini Junior. I'm just going to run it through twice like I show you when I run it through and then I kind of move it down more and then run it through again, however I'm going to do that. Um, this one's pretty basic. I was looking at it. Um, it has the... Of course, the card, you know, the basic card base. Okay, sorry, my son interrupted me, so I took the time to pick out papers. But anyhow, uh, so you have your base die, and then it has two layers on top of that. So you're going to have your base color, whatever die, you know, whatever it is that you wanted to use there. And then you're going to have uh, an outline, uh, your shadow layer, I guess. And then this really intricate, gorgeous layer that does cut out on the line. So I'm not going to do that again where I layered them both together. They don't have to do that. And then it has this really pretty little heart kind of accent piece that does not have a shadow or a blackout layer to it. So right here, it looked like it did, but what they did was they stacked two of them kind of offset from each other. I don't know if you can see this light pink one, and then there's like a kind of goldish something peeking through there. So these kind of just offset those. Obviously, this is from a different die set, which I probably have. I have all her butterflies. And then there's a little piece that helps you make your stopper down here. That's just another little piece where you can put like a sentiment maybe or something like that. So since I grabbed paper already, I'm just going to open this up. And I'm going to make this pretty easy. It seems like this is going to be a, a nice, easy one. Um, I don't know why I picked these colors. I just was like, oh, I'll do red and then a black base because I don't know why. But I'm going to do a black base here. So let me grab one of these. Well, actually, you know, I'm just going to eyeball it. You're going to cut your paper about six inches wide. Hopefully I don't mess this up. And let's take our base die. And if you have the Empress, you can follow your uh, sandwich for that, but um, she does have it on the thing here saying you should use, of course, your A plate, your magnetic mat on top, position the die blade side up, smooth side sitting on B magnetic mat. Then you put your paper on that with the face down and then your a second A plate, right? So with Gemini, I'm going to put, am I gonna cut right into it? Let me see. No, I probably won't. So this one, we are going to use a couple different things. I have my white shim, my magnetic mat. I'm going to put those right down here. I will put this facing up. Just making sure it's in there. I'm going to put my paper. Since it's the same black on either side, it doesn't matter if it's face up or face down. But if you want, whatever's face down is what you should have showing, right? So your nice side of your paper face down. Let me just make sure. And is this on? Is this thing on? Let me see here. Okay. So I'm going to run that through the Gemini. And like I said, the next piece I'm going to uh, offset it a little bit. I could run that through the cuddle bug. I do have the extended plates for the cuddle bug. Um, but and I did not want to remove it the way I just did because to be honest, I wanted to be able to just move it and not have to deal with this. But what I usually do is I kind of cut off this excess just so I can see exactly where I'm putting this thing, putting it right back down in there. I can see the um, embossing line there is already pushing through really well. I am going to put a little piece of tape just so it doesn't move, but if you can just set, situate it back down in there, you probably don't have to even put tape. I'm just going to put the smallest piece just to make sure this is resting in here the way I want it to. And I'm just going to push it back through 
Not even that much. Like I said, I don't really like to overlap it again because sometimes it'll shift and you might mess it up. So what I like to do is just put enough that's just a bit that needs to go through. Which that's probably what I'll do because this is kind of being persnickety. Again, if I just had the, you know, strength to go and put it in my, uh, grab my um, Empress and plug it in, but I did not. Okay, so I did put the tape and I'm just going to run it through just a little bit on that tip. And then I'm going to reverse it back through because I don't want it to continue going. So I'm going to let it go for a little bit. That sounds good. I'm going to stop it and reverse it. Let's go, baby. There you go. <laughs> she takes a little minute to kind of respond. I could have run it all the way through, but like I said, I don't want it to mess it up anymore. So there we go. So here's our base. I'm going to put that to the side for right now. Let me put this back. The next thing I want to do is the shadow layer, which I'm going to use the red card base because I want to use that gold for the front, which I think is really pretty. So another very basic thing here, just get this. Where are you going to use that? Piece there. And hopefully if you guys are interested in this, you're picking it up because I know she sells out of these things all the time. I'm surprised, like even today, I'm, I'm filming this on the 4th. Um, and I went on to see about if they had offered her today special, the Empress Mini, early or anything. And they already have on extended delivery some of the, like, dyes that would go along with it. And I'm like, how the heck is that? <laughs> so I went ahead and ordered the Empress Mini early, so I don't know if I'll get it a little bit earlier than others or not. Because sometimes they still kind of hold things back. But, um, so we have this. We're going to put that to the side. If you want to emboss that, it can, you can emboss like a little tiny line, but it's not going to be too impressive. So I'm not going to spend the time to rubber emboss that. And then we have this guy. Now this guy's super intricate. Let's see what happens. So again, blade facing up. I'm going to put this gorgeous paper face down on here. And that is the Anna Griffin gold metallic matte paper, I guess. Let's see what happens. Sounds good. Um, let me think, black card base, red heart. Maybe I'll put that little stopper in the red just so I can cut it out. Ooh, it looks like it did it. There might be a couple spots that look like dead spots. Let me see. Hmm. Let me try to poke it out because if it comes out, then I'm just going to leave it alone. But if not, I might have to run it through another time. It's right in here. Oh, I think we might be okay. Even though it didn't look like it poked it out, but let me see. Okay, I think we're okay. Um, is there rubber embossing on this one? It looks like all the pieces pretty much just fall out. I don't see anything that should be embossed. So I'm not going to run it through. Actually, right here. Right in this area, there is a little bit of embossing. Okay, so let's, let's try it. Take out the metallic, your magnetic mat. Oopsie, something fell. And then just the white mat. You can get the metal mat in there, the metal shim in there too, but I'm just going to put that and this. And I hope it does not rip through this because uh, I've heard a lot of people with their horror stories that the thing just like <laughs> cuts through your, your mat. I haven't really used that. I don't really do the embossing too often. So let's see if it is deep or even works. Okay, yay, did not rip through. And I can see that it embossed a little bit. I don't know if you can see that there's like areas that are done there. So let me do that. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. There are some pieces that need to come out, but I'll do it from the back side in just a minute. I'll give it a brushing. But look how pretty that is. Look at the little detail. Okay, so we have that. And then these last two things I will cut out at once. I bring my magnetic mat back. This guy, and then we need. I put this back. Oh, I should clean that out because I'm gonna take pictures of it, and then it's gonna be white paper stuck in there. But that's fine. Um, maybe I'll do this one in red. I was thinking about doing this in red too, but that's kind of a lot of red. So if I do black, oh gold, do I have any gold? Darn it, if I had thought about it, I would have repositioned this paper differently because it just missed it. Um, all right, I'm just going to do the heart in red and then I'm going to do this in black because I have black, but otherwise I would have chosen 
the gold. I think that would have been pretty, but let's put that face up. This and our extra piece of black paper right here. And let's pop that through. How many of you guys are picking up the Empress? I said if she was 100 bucks, I would get it, the mini. And she was 129 and I still got it. <laughs> but a lot of times it's just for me to try it out. I might return it. I mean, I have a lot of machines. You guys saw that video that has well over 7,000 views now. And I like reading the comments. And I think what's good about the comments is that you guys leave comments there saying what you think of the different machines that you have and what you have. And people like to read them too because it's uh, good information to have. So, okay, we have that base piece again you can do a little embossing on that and now we have this little guy which I will go ahead and run through and emboss it again because look it doesn't have any embossing so let's put this back on here let's throw this stuff on the floor so I'll come through later and clean it up myself all right if I need to tape that down I would but I think it's gonna be okay ah hopefully I didn't move it And run it through one more time. And then we will assemble this little thing. That's one thing I do like about these easel cards is they're pretty easy. I mean, obviously some of them have a lot more layers. This is probably the most basic one that I've seen other than, you know, um, the haunted house had a lot going on. The um, candy cane gingerbread house had a lot going on. So pretty. And again, if you double them up, it looks a little nicer. I'm just going to do that for now. Put this back. I'm really happy with this. Okay, because it seems very cute. All right, let's bring all our pieces back. And, oh, my idea sheet fell somewhere else, so let me get this out of here. Okay. So I was just looking at what is the side, because this is what's funny. You're going to have a nice rounded edge, but then when you bring this down, I guess that's the part you want up, huh? I don't know, because that seems kind of weird, because if you turn it over and then you put this side down, it's not going to look as pretty on the bottom. Let me just make sure I tell you guys the right thing, because when I was watching her make this the other day, and I'm like, why did she turn it up? That makes no sense. Because um, see, you're supposed to flip it down, and on the wrong side, you put your little adhesive right here. So when I was watching her, she did that, but then she turned this up, <laughs> okay, on her tutorial or, you know, just a sneak peek. She put the tape here, and then she glued it, but now I'm like, that's, from the back, it looks not very nice. Let me show you. If this was on here, and then this is like this. You know what I'm saying? This black piece, it doesn't look good. So I don't know what, maybe she got confused of her own, you know, instructions. So I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to use a tape runner only to make this quick for right now, but I would maybe... Well, I don't know if I would use a wet glue, to be honest. I think I would use this. Now, I did not pay attention to how to center this. It looks like it has a little bit of area around it, so we're just going to center it right in the middle. That's pretty. And then, already right, you have... Let's train this. But see how it's nice and stuck down right there? So cute. Look at that. Okay. Now... I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to stick it on flat, but you know, she always likes to make like different layers. If you want to put lots of little ad adhesive pop dots, maybe I should do that. Okay, I'm not going to be lazy, guys. I'll take some little adhesive. I have these little tiny, tiny ones that I got, I don't know when, a long time ago. And I'm going to put them wherever there's the leaves, where it's kind of thicker areas. So I can lay these down. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to put them wherever there's thicker spots to be able to put it down me. See that? So like here and here and here. And now I'm going to take the little backs okay. off and I'll be right back. So I was only a little bit lazy. Okay. I probably would put more than that if I was going to send it off somewhere, but uh, for right now this is good. And we're going to eyeball this and put it right over the top of that. These layer up really nicely, so that's really cute. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less for, or, you know, from Anna Griffin. Look at that. Ooh, I went with a Spanish kind of feel, right? The gold and the red, like deep red and black there. That's cool. Okay, and then we have, you know, so we have these last two bits. Now, this is your stopper up here. So that's why I wanted to go with a different color, but that's okay, we went with black. And I'm only gonna put one little piece of foam for now. Actually, I'll put two. Of course, when you're doing this, to give it to a friend or a loved one. 
I guess hopefully your friend is your loved one. <laughs> um, we will make sure that's going to be stuck down really good. I really like these. They're huge though. And I, I think I got them. I feel like they're recollections or something. And again, maybe a different color than what I'm using because it just blends in really well. But that's your stopper there. And then, look at that, it's not even sticking down. These adhesives are super old too. <laughs> that's not helpful. Um, we have this really pretty little heart now. Of course, she has got all kinds of things here. I think I might have some of these botanical things to be honest, like the fans, and I think I have some of these uh, flowers. But, you know, hook it up. I, you know, right here there's this heart and I wish, that's my only wish for this one, please. Maybe there should have been a little heart to layer over this, you know? But then it kind of covers it up, so I understand why she wouldn't do that. Wouldn't it be cute to do another one, maybe in the gold or whatever color, and then just cut these little bits off of it on the very side, right? So it's another heart, and then layer that over this, because I think it'd be easy to do, right? You just have to kind of follow around, and it would add a lot more. And this is basically almost the same as design that's right in the middle of this little guy. So whatever you want to do, I don't know, for right now, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I just wanted to cut it out to show you. Maybe I'll stick it right here. I'll pop dot it here just to have something. But that's the basic construction. Of course, hook it up however you like. It's really pretty. I, I like this design or this uh, um, set very much. So I'll have some pictures for you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. It was very easy, um, very quick. I pretty much didn't even pause other than to put those uh, adhesives on the back. So it's almost basically as long as it took me to do this video, that's literally as long as it took to make the card. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.